Hi, I wanted to show you how easy it is to change the background image on XBMC. Currently you can see um, the blue background with the what looks like the white uh, lens flares. It's very easy using XBMC hub maintenance to change that background to pretty much anything you like. The way you do this, if you come to programs and already underneath programs we've put the shortcut in for XBMC hub maintenance. So if you go into this, now depending on whether or not you've used this before, um, you might be confronted with a settings box which comes up asking you to put in a um, confirm a download section. Now if you've used XBMC Hub before you might have already got, got past this page, however when you come to download a new wallpaper you'll see the box and I'll show you this in a second. So if you go into tweaks and then go into wallpaper downloads, now you're confronted with two uh, pre-configured wallpaper download sites, um, wallpaperswire.com and HD Wallpapers. Um, both contain some very, very impressive uh, graphics and pictures. So we're just going to choose this one here, first of all, and, uh, and just choose a wallpaper to download for demonstration. As you can see, um, they have some pretty amazing looking uh, wallpapers in here. So. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose 3D Inspiration. Now, you click on it, and as I said before, if you've already used the uh, XBMC Hub before, you would have already seen the screen, but if you, if you haven't, this is the window that will pop up for you. It's telling you that it's going to uh, give you a pop-up to put in your download location. So these are the XBMC Hub settings. So here you go, down here, the wallpaper download directory. Obviously, it's set as blank at the moment. So as I said before, you might get this screen when you first go into XBMC Hub Maintenance. If not, you'll definitely get it when you try and download a wallpaper. So just choose the download directory. Um, I want a Macintosh showing you this, but the principle is the same on the MX Android box. Just uh, go in and choose your internal storage and then choose either downloads or, or, or a folder in there to download to. So for this I'm choosing this downloads folder and I'm just clicking OK and all it does is just puts a um, file location in here under the download so it's got somewhere for it to download to. So just click OK and that will be downloaded to the uh, local directory. So if you come out of this then go to system and you want to go up to appearance. This will show you the skin. This is a confluence skin, uh, as you can see on the right here. So you want to go to settings, and then under settings, you can click on background. Now under the background option, you've got all these miscellaneous options, but at the bottom one here is enable custom background. This will enable you to choose whatever background you want. So go ahead and select that and then select the background path. You then want to go to where you set your download directory before, which was here, and you can see the um, picture we downloaded before, plus another one I downloaded earlier. So let's choose this one, 3D Inspiration, and voila, it's in the background. So if I quickly come out of this, you can see that I've got a great new background, and as you've just seen, it's very easy to change. Let's go and do it again. Let's give it another one. Appearance. Got skin, under skin, click on settings. Background, background path. And then choose your image. Okay, so now I've got the uh, iOS 7 Galaxy as my background image. So there you go, very easy to, uh, to change. If you want to change it back to the Confluence one, just go back in there and untick custom backgrounds and it'll automatically revert to the background it had before. Okay, have a play around. Hope you get on well with it.